Hello everybody, we Rabbit here, and welcome back to our LP of Shantae and the Seven Sirens. In the previous part, we made our way down here to the area that's called like the Sunken Ship, or something sunken, pretty sure it's Sunken Ship or something like that. And we're basically trying to see what we can do that'll lead to us getting the next Fusion Stone, so we can then give it to Zapple and get the Fusion Dance, you know what I mean? So it's kind of been working towards that. Uh, since last time, I caught up to where we were. This is the exact room where we were when we died. So we're back here. Looks like we're doing a little bit better. I was telling Terrific off camera. I'm going to try to be not be less stingy with the magic. Uh, you know, like the little shield. That way I won't just die to something random that just like kind of screws me over. So, you know, uh, but that aside, Terrific is here. Say hello, Terrific. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Terrific here. And uh, yeah, no, nah, man, it's. We're, we're out here, and I'm gonna try to convince you to be less, uh, less, uh, willy nilly with your magic. And you're burning through it. Well, these guys, remember, I, I was telling you off camera, these guys are the ones that yeah. screw me over. Because they're like, we're yeah. placing a really weird spot where if I try to, uh, hit them, I get hurt. And it's like, why am I getting hurt? Because apparently they're like doing damage to me, and like, I don't know, it was like really weird. So that's why I, I was saying I'm going to be like last stingy and uh, if I have to use the shield with those guys, I, I will. So, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I got you. I, I just like the timing of it. It's like, yeah, I'm going to help them, you know, use the left and it's gone. And I, as you were saying, it, I was already using it. Okay, it's not much, but yeah, look at where they're at. When I jump, they hit me. So it's like really awkward. Ah, whatever. You know what? Just I don't have to kill everybody. <laughs> Oh, great. Not only that, but look, I went the wrong way. It's a dead end. Yay. Wasn't that great? So, all right. So we caught up where we were. Obviously, this is the right, wrong way. So what we have to do is go back and to the right instead. So kind of lame that we uh went the wrong way, apparently, which is like, it, it kind of sucks. There's not an indicator. You know what I mean? It's like, where are we supposed to go? Not this way, apparently. Yep. Listen, uh, you got that explorative gameplay, man. Yeah, but it makes sense. You know, they want you to explore. I get it. I get it. But doesn't mean it's not annoying to like waste your time going in one direction only for it to like not be the right way. No, no, no. Like, don't you know the gaming execs? They know what gamers want, and countless dead ends makes people like the game more and continue playing. Oh like, God, gamers sounds like... love it when their time is wasted. That sounds like some, uh, what do you call it, like some Stockholm Syndrome or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gamers just being like obsessed with like, the game screwing them over and stuff. Oh, man. Oh, Look, speaking of which, this is a good time people. to get back into our discussion. We were talking about Nintendo and uh, some of the stuff that we like, don't like, etc. One of the things that we were talking about is uh, like the, the decisions they make and you know all sorts of stuff about them as a company, right? Yeah. So, you know, kind of give like a little overview. Positives were like, okay, looks like they're in a really good place right now creatively. They've been doing stuff like really cool with their IPs. Oh, Dude, really? You're serious. Oh, my God. It doesn't, whatever. Anyway, uh, they've been doing some like stuff that's interesting with their IPs, doing stuff that's like, really out of the box. Uh, you know, yeah, luckily we're not too, too far. Because off camera, I came and purposely saved here so we wouldn't get screwed over if we uh, died. Yeah. Because yeah, but I found a new uh, safe spot. It's been kind of a bit a bit annoying to be honest. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hold on. To get back though, I think it was up and around the other way though. Uh, anyway, yeah. So they've done some stuff that we that you know it's cool. It's it's enjoyable. It, it's fun. But of course, again, they're not perfect. They've done some stuff that's been really annoying. And one of the things that we were talking about just off camera as we were trying to, you know, catch up to where we were, we were talking about how annoying they have been with stuff like the Nintendo Switch Online. Nintendo Switch Online, I kind of get what they were going for. You know, you look at something that like Game Pass, the Game Pass, I would say it works. You know, Game Pass is an interesting concept. Uh, if you play at least like one game a month, I say it's worth it. You know, instead of having to pay the $60, $70, being able to just basically like rent the game and then just beat it and move on to the next thing, it's not a bad idea. And especially because, you know, you get new games day one. Mm -hmm. So there's some stuff that, you know, it's kind of cool, honestly. I can kind of see the appeal of it and I can kind of see why companies would want to follow that model. However, the thing with uh, Nintendo and their um, Nintendo Switch Online is that I'd, I'd hope that by now, 
they would have added more systems that we would be at the point where it's like, oh, cool, there's GameCube games, there's DS games, you know, stuff like that, stuff that maybe is a little harder for people to emulate. That's a little more uh, harder to get your hands on those systems and, you know, legit copies of those games, right? Mm -hmm. But no, they literally just stopped at N64 and called it a day. And Terrific was looking it up earlier. They're ca they're charging for like their uh you know most um expensive plan like their most premium plan, they're charging fifty dollars for like I said basically oh you can play games up to the N sixty four games yeah. that you know you can basically emulate those on a potato at this point. So, I don't know. It's just ridiculous. It's just silly. I just don't get what Nintendo's going for. I think it's really bad. Yeah, I mean, and it's just really not a good look. And, I mean, like we Robert was saying, if they kept adding on to it, you know, at the very least, GameCube, I, you know, it, maybe it could be more worth it, but I, I just, I just don't. It ain't it ain't right, man. I don't. It, I just like. I mean, I mentioned it off screen. I, I just view it as anti-consumer, frankly. It's just really, really bad. Yeah, it's yeah. really annoying. I just don't get what they were thinking. Like, I don't know. It's just like they treat their. That's the bad thing. They treat their older stuff so strangely. Like they just want people to like be nostalgic for it and buy it, but like. I don't know. At the same time, it's okay. Make it more accessible so people can play it. But they, like, refuse to. Like, they yeah. only want you to play it however weird way that they decide. And that's it. So, like, but that's stuff that, that they do that I just don't agree with and I just hate. And it annoys the crap out of me. Yeah, but if you think about it, I mean, it works. I mean, I, I don't have any numbers, but I'm guessing a fair bit of people are paying the $50 to play, you know, their favorite games that from, you know, when they were younger, because Nintendo has decided to keep such a, an iron clasp on it that you can't get it anywhere else supported by them. So it's like, well, I don't like it, but I, you know, want to play these nostalgic games and show it to my kids. So... Yeah, that's the bad thing. Obviously, if people don't like stuff, but they keep consuming it and being a part of like the system, then of course companies yeah. aren't going to stop, you know? And it's unfortunate that, yeah, as much as we complain about it, if there's people paying for it and engaging with it, then they're going to keep doing it. Because what reason would they have not to, you know? Yeah. But you know what? That's fine because you know what? Gar, matey, join me in the life of the seven seas. <laughs> Become a pirate. <laughs> oh god but that's the thing too that i don't know if you've heard about how they've taken off a bunch of the emulators and rom sites and made it harder to like deal with all that yeah so i don't know nintendo's just so annoying it's like we don't want you to pirate the games we don't want you to like emulate them okay fair enough but are you gonna make it easier for people to play them are you gonna release stuff nope. that you guys have never released no so then what nope. do you want what in the hell do you want like what do you expect people Whoa. to do when you aren't releasing these titles i don't know it drives me crazy man yeah, no, I mean, they want to control the supply because if you can get an emulator, a very good emulator that lets you get cheats and other different things like that and other different boosts and you don't have to track down the console, you can play it whenever, why would you pay Nintendo for their overpriced, like, drip feed? Why would you yeah. do it? You know? Like, why would you Which, need them when you can, like, when you have the control? Yeah, I mean, that that's really all it is. It's just, it's about the control, man, controlling the market, which sucks because I was all fine. And that's the thing. I mean, and they're just losing people like me because don't get me wrong, I, I was pretty big on supporting Nintendo back in the day. Uh, I bought some of their virtual console games. It's like, you know what? No, I mean, I want to play this. Like, yeah, I could emulate this on my phone, but no, nah, I want to, you know, I'll play it on my DS and whatnot. So I did, I bought a couple and then they dropped it and it's like okay well what are you doing oh this is what you're doing i uh, know I, I can't support that anymore you you've now made it more efficient to pirate it versus support you and so i don't know who knows yeah maybe, maybe i'm in the minority i don't know but i don't know you're, you're not because a lot of people have said it i mean that's the whole point of like the the guy from steam G gabe newell he said that he's yeah. oh my freaking god you gotta be kidding me
I literally don't know where we're supposed to go. Because if you noticed, uh, I was going the other direction from last time. And it looks like yeah. that was also not the correct way. I am really a little bit lost about what way we're supposed to go because it looked like there was also going to be a dead end, which I don't really get how. Because I need like the swimming power, but I'm not seeing anywhere that I would. I don't have the swimming power. I'm not seeing where I could. Okay, maybe I just have to take a chance right here with this poison water, maybe. I'm not too sure. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah, because I'm really confused which way it wants to know, but that... Because I can't... I can't swim. And if you notice, one way I had gone, I needed to swim. The other way, from what I remember, I also needed to swim. So I'm confused what way it wants me to go, what direction. Mm-hmm. Anyway, as I was trying to say, a guy from Steam, Gabe Newell, he said that he thinks that whenever there's piracy, that it's kind of like the company's fault because he's saying like it's an accessibility issue. He's like, yeah. if you're not giving the people what they want, if you're making it difficult, he's like nine times out of ten, they're pirating because you're not making it accessible. You know, he says yeah. it's not like, oh, because people are the issue. He said like, no, the company's the issue, basically. So I just think it's really mm -hmm. interesting. That's what kind of goes into what you were saying, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, and he's he's not wrong, so. And of course, Steam isn't perfect either. But oh, yeah, I mean, when it comes yeah. to accessibility, you can't, you can't doubt that they are the leaders in the market. <laughs> so. Yeah, because, you know, you can get all your stuff super easy and it's not hard at all to, uh, to access it and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so. I'm kind of, like I said, lost about where the heck it wants me to go, man. Because I'm trying to go back down again. Oh my god. See, just what I needed. Invisible enemies to attack me, right? As it wasn't bad enough already. Yeah. But you love it. You love the challenge. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay, because we see her. That's a thing. So I know this is the right direction, because then this is where we enter the new area. But then from here, I'm having trouble, because I'm telling you, it feels like both ways I've gone have been dead ends from what I've seen, unless I just... I'm, like, missing something. Mm -hmm. I guess, like, okay. Because that's just money. That'll help, I guess. Okay. I'm really trying to pay attention. Truly really trying to keep my eyes peeled. Okay. Yeah, because enemies just pop out, man. It sucks so much. Like, I'm just trying to make progress. And enemies will just randomly pop out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Because there's the left. And then they're just way, way to, like, the right, if you remember, right? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm just trying to be careful. I'm trying to kill things so they won't kill me. But it sucks as I feel like enemies just pop up whenever they want. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there's going to be the route to the left. Cause that looks like it would be the correct way, but like I said, I'm having trouble because I feel like there's times when I've gone all the way to the left, and then it just... Oh my god, dude. Even when I'm trying to get my health back, the enemies just like want to like not let me live my life. <laughs> okay. Okay, because one route is this way. We've gone this one before. I feel like this isn't the way, but I just want to make absolute sure okay more magic so far we're good on magic okay so there is one route here yeah see i'm telling i need to like just see i want to use the shield more but then the bad thing is that like magic still ends out so it's like dang it mm -hmm. but i'm just trying to be as careful as possible okay 
So we look at our map. Okay, I want to say there's a dead end over here, though, but I'm not absolutely sure. Let's hope there's not. Yeah, this enemy, man, has been like the bane of my existence. Okay. Okay. So we tunnel our way forward. Yeah, there's water. We can't do anything, is what I was just saying. So this is a dead end. Yeah, we can't do anything. Okay. Careful with this enemy. Careful with that enemy. Okay. So this is definitely a dead end. This is what I would call the left route. So left route, even though it looks like it should be it, looks like I can't do anything because there's water. So now we're going to take what I call the right route, which we go the other way. But the problem is, if I remember correctly, there is also water there. Okay. Oh, well, hold on. What was there? That was something I could use the... No, that's just a statue. I don't know what I would need to like revive the statue. That's just an enemy. Mm. Okay, hold on. Okay, so... Yeah, there should only be the root to like the right. So if there is not there, I would I'm gonna need to look you to look it up for me, I guess, because I don't know what uh, else it could be. I mean in fact start looking it up now, I guess. Just in case. Alright. Okay. So we're going what I call the right route. Okay. Because these we cannot do anything with because we need electricity. We don't have that power yet. So let's break through these. All right, let's see. Okay, that guy's dead. Okay. Yeah, because I can't. There's I can't progress here either because I don't have the power. So I'm kind of confused which way I'm supposed to go then, unless I have to go farther down. Maybe I just have not been able to get down because enemies have killed me, so let's hope there's something down, I guess. Alright, replenish our health. Luckily, we had enough magic. Okay, there's a way this way. Okay, I had not gone this way before. I think I had always just died. Or just was going in circles. So luckily, yeah. it looks like I made some progress finally. Good. There we All go. Right, nice. Okay, so that took a bit. It was just... You're I was a bit welcome. lost. Yeah. You're like... You're like you're like, hero's a strong word, but, you know, I would I would call myself hero. <laughs> the hero of this LP, you know? I mean, who else would it be? Ah, uh, the Legend of Jonathan, obviously. Oh, he saved uh, the LP. Yeah, he yeah, saved the LP. I, mean, I can't deny that. I mean, you guys can't tell but because he's muted, but, but yeah, no, he has actually kept this whole thing together. Yeah, every time we've been lost, he's helped us. I've handed him the controller and been like, can you do this for me? And he's oh, been like, sure. And I use the baby voice, of course. I said, can you do this for me? Of course. Okay, I feel like I'm going farther away from the objective, but I did see a way forward this way, so. It's gonna loop back around. All right, look at me, uh... I just saved. Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. I'm cornered by those enemies because one of them shooting me from off camera. That guy, I've told the issue with him where if you get too close, he like hurts you. Luckily, I just saved those. That's that's fine. And at least I know that it looks like we need to go more towards the uh, the left because I kind of start going back to the right. I'll explore more to the left just to be sure there's nothing I missed there. Yeah, this guy is like my least favorite enemy. This guy pisses me off so much. Okay. Okay, there's supposed to be something this way. Yeah, this is totally new again. See, sometimes I think I'm just going in the wrong direction and kind of just going with it. And I think that's what's screwing me over. Okay. Oh god, it's her. Uh, 
All right, we made it to our warp room. So that's something at least. So we're making progress, slowly but surely. All right, so I'm gonna take advantage. I'm gonna go back to town. I'm gonna get my health back and save. And then we'll be back. And at least we made progress finally. I think we were just getting unfortunate with uh, the enemies, you know, bringing us down. And then um, I think I was just kind of going like in circles or something. So yeah, I think it was just like an unfortunate series of events. You know what I mean? Hmm. All right. Let's replenish this real quick. Perfect. Oh, come on. All right, I'm gonna save, just a little bit of a safety save. You know what's the crazy part? We have just been like wandering around. I still have no idea how the hell this is gonna lead to the fusion stone for uh, Zapple. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of just hoping that it'll just bring you there, huh? Yeah, it's been like kind of awkward, right? Like I feel like we haven't really had like a clear objective because at first I was thinking, oh, maybe it's gonna be when the guy said, uh, said about like the armor and getting the three things from like the desert, blah blah. blah. But it looks mm -hmm. like that's like a side thing. It looks like that hasn't really contributed yet, so it's been kind of awkward. All right, it doesn't matter though. At least here we go. We're making progress now. So it's a siren. Be gone. She's like, who who said that? Oh, it's. I fear you not. I have no life left to take. What is this? You are no siren. I'm a half genie. Half genie? Down here? How? And where's your other half? <laughs> Stupid. Half genies are daughters of the genies. I came here looking for my friends. They were captured by sirens and now I've got to find them. Can you help me? Uh, I was like, hmm. Maybe you speak the truth, or perhaps you lie. A siren trick. One way to know for certain. Do a good deed as only a genie would. They all know you are worthy of trust. A good deed? Like what? Return my scary doll to me. A precious gift, a family keepsake it was. But it was lost. Lost when I crashed on this accursed island long ago. A guardian genie is always on duty. I'll return your doll to you. You certainly seem like an honest one. Take this. Hey, there we go. We finally got the freaking fusion stone. And it came out. It came, wow. We got it in like the most, I wouldn't call it like a, a deus ex machina, but it was like the most like random out of nowhere way to achieve it, right? Yeah. Uh, it is the only thing of value I've managed to hold on to. Return my scary doll and I will help you find your friends. All right. So we finally made the goddamn progress, man. And I guess it's just so random. Like, how did we finally make progress? A random NPC that's like, oh, you know, give me like my uh, my item and here, take this. And I guess we just promised to help them later. So there you go. Finally. Took long enough. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so I might have interrupted you. Was there a thought you had earlier? One of the Nintendo things that maybe I cut you off because we were just kind of... Uh, you know, trying to get back on, on track? Or had you finished your uh, thoughts or what do you think? I don't remember, so I um, guess I'm just gonna say we, we I finished my thought. Is I wanna say we did finish our talk about being uh, annoyed with Nintendo, but I'm not too sure. Yeah. You know? All right, so Zapple says, you're as resourceful as they say. That's a fusion stone, all right? And then there's something about it though. Hmm. A stranger entrusted this to you, didn't they? Meanwhile, I... Look, I'm sorry I doubted you. If Plink and Vera trust you, then so do I. You can borrow my magic, too. Ready to combine our magic? Yes. God, it took long enough to freaking finally get this. Better brace yourself. You're in for a shot. As you remember, we know hers has something to do with electricity. They've been teasing it here and there with like stuff we've seen in the environment, so... Spark dance. I feel like dancing. All right, this is our powers of combined. Your dance magic and my spark magic. You're sure to get a charge out of that. I'm ready. You can count on me. The spark dance can activate machinery or shock metal. While dancing, mm -hmm. press right to activate it. Okay. Why not test the spark dance in this room? I'll give it a shot. After all. How can I refuse? <laughs> refuse. Ah, uh, oh. oh, Shante, you so clever. She's like, hey. 
I don't get it. I think she's like, I don't oh get it. Gosh. How do you not get it, girl? <laughs> You're slow. And she's like, never mind. All right, cool. So let's get over here. Let's use it. Oh, I guess that was it. Is that it? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's, it's... to be in front of the door. No, it's this one. It flashed. Uh, I think that was it. I think it's just since the tutorial one, it was probably just really, uh, it's probably really basic, I'm guessing. Because watch, if we enter, I mean, if we exit and enter back in, I'm pretty sure the little icon isn't going to be there anymore. Yeah, see, there's this icon, the one that, uh, like the hidden money and stuff. The other yeah. one's gone. So I think that was it. Since it's a tutorial one, I think this kept it simple. Like, oh, just use it and get like a little thing. So. Oh, okay. All right, so there we go. That took a bit of time to track down. I don't know why, but we finally did it. So we got that. Awesome. Real quick. I think it's worth it to let's buy some more potions since we've been having some trouble. There you go. That'll be good to have in our inventory. And then, you know, we can afford some of these. Why not buy some of these too? Screw it. There we go. So hopefully that'll help us, you know, in the future, right? All right, good, good, good. I also want to save now that we got the fusion dance. There we go. Okay, and I think that is where I'm gonna call it. But there you have it, guys. We finally got our third dance. So we are almost there. We are uh, making progress, so that is good. So if you guys like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you, Terrific, for being here. Yeah, man, not a problem. And then, like I said, this is where we're going to stop. But next time, we're going to see where we can use this new ability, what we have to do to further the story. But, you know, we're making progress slowly but steady. So, you know, good stuff, good stuff. But, yeah, we'll pick it up the next time. So, everybody have a good one. Bye.